there is more that can still be done besides training. So how do Guardian helmets like this help prevent injuries? When contact is made, it absorbs some of the impact reducing the amount of stress and forces placed on the, on the skull. After Abe died, Las Cruces schools started using these special pads that go over helmets during practice. Earlier, we introduced you to athletic trainer Daryl Wooten. He works with the school district. It's certainly a help. It's better than nothing. They've been used by the NFL at practices, and their website claims they reduce impact by 33 percent. Since we started using this Centennial High School, our concussions during practice have basically been eliminated. But here in New Mexico, not all schools are using them. No one's wearing them in games. Why is that? I would have to say it's the culture of the sport. I mean, we can't look soft wearing them. A big old bunny helmet on top of our helmets. Target 7 has learned that following Abe's death, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission launched an investigation into Abe's helmet. They sent this email to Las Cruces Public Schools asking a series of questions about the helmet. Target 7 was able to obtain these photos of Abe's helmet he wore when he collapsed. Although many football helmets have been recalled over the past several years, Abe's was not one of them. His helmet was two years old and was recently recertified. In fact, his helmet has been rated as one of the safest by many laboratories. You learn from things that happen, then it's good to evaluate how can we get better. Just before Abe's death, the district hired a series of athletic trainers and put two of them in every school. But not all New Mexico schools have athletic trainers on the sidelines. Our investigation found that rural schools struggle to staff them. So that you understand, sure. in New Mexico, I would say less than 30% of our schools have athletic trainers. We do not have enough trainers. We have openings for athletic trainers and we cannot fill them.